The birth of Jesus. A long time ago, there was a young woman named Mary. She had promised to marry a man named Joseph. One day, God sent an angel, the angel Gabriel, to visit Mary. Greetings, said Gabriel. Do not be afraid, Mary. I have wonderful news for you. You will be with child and give birth to a son. You shall name the child Jesus. Mary started, stared up at Gabriel. How could this be? She asked. Wait, so wait, Jesus would is Je is Jesus a human? Yes, remember he came down in a baby form. Mm -hmm. So he was God and man at the same time. I thought God was just some ghost for some reason. A spirit? Yeah. He is a spirit. God well, is spirit. If someone's a spirit, then they can't be a he human. Well, God's spirit lives in us, right? Mm -hmm. In those who believe in Jesus, who right. loves Jesus. Okay. So his spirit lives in our human flesh and heart, right? Well, how does God help us at the same time? Because he's all powerful. He's everywhere at the same time. He can what? help us do anything. He can teleport that quickly? Absolutely. He's everywhere. God is everywhere. He's in right there and right there. He right sees there. us. He hears you. <laughs> yeah, and he's smiling down at you right now. And you can tell him, thank you, Lord. He's good. What? Oh, yeah, she is. She's amazing. Okay. Better May than I my brother? She's got more years, I guess. Can I please finish reading? Yes, you can finish. <laughs> Okay. Well, where were you at? Mary stared up at Gabriel. How could this be? She asked. I am not even married yet. Gabriel answered. The Holy Spirit will visit you. The Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. God has chosen me, she whispered. I am the Lord's servant. May it be as you have said. Months passed and Mary was nearly ready to deliver her baby. But first, she and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem. Mary rode a donkey that Joseph led. It was a long, hard ride, but Mary did not complain. Joseph guided the donkey over hills and through valleys for many, many days. Finally, just as the sun set one evening, they saw the lights of Bethlehem. As the sky grew dark, Joseph started looking for a place to spend the night. He knocked on the doors of many inns, but all the rooms were taken. At the last inn Joseph could find, the innkeeper shook his head. I am sorry, he said, you have no room here. Please, Joseph said, she could deliver her baby any minute. Please help us. The innkeeper paused. Well, I suppose you can stay in the stable with the animals. It is warm there. Joseph took Mary and the donkey to the stable. This would be their home for the night. He tried to make Mary comfortable. He cleared a space for her and made a bed out of soft hay so she could rest. They were very grateful. That evening, Mary gave birth to her baby. And just as the angel Gabriel had told her to do, Mary named him Jesus. Mary and Joseph gazed at the tiny baby with joy Mary carefully wrapped the baby in strips of cloth, 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 cloth. They did not have a cradle, so Joseph laid him to sleep in the manger. The baby fell asleep instantly. 
While Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus were sleeping in the stable, a shepherd boy and his father were tending their sheep in a nearby <coughs> village. Just as on any other night, the father and son guarded their flock and talked quietly to keep themselves awake. Look, the boy said, pointing to the sky. Oh, cute baby Jesus. Look at those cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Oh, just like your cheeks. My Let me cheeks see your cheeks. aren't red. Stop. They were? No. You have the cutest cheeks ever. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did, and you still do. No, I don't. You have mama's cheeks. Nuh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> you see the cheeks? I see your cheeks. I see your cheeks. Mm -hmm. The father looked up. A beautiful, bright, shining star had appeared. It beamed down like a spotlight. Mom, I scratched myself. That's lovely. As they it's gaze at the star, it. you will be okay. May I please finish this story? It hurts. You'll be all right. Uh, <laughs> the sky suddenly filled with angels dressed in flowing robes. The angels looked down at the shepherd boy, and his father smiled. Then one of the angels spoke to them. Do not be frightened, said the angel, for we come with great news for you. The world shall rejoice tonight. On this day, in the city of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Go and see him. Go and witness the miracle. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Follow the bright shining star. It will lead you to Bethlehem. The angels sang a hymn of praise and then disappeared. The shepherd and his son looked at one another with amazement. Come, the father whispered. Let's go. See, fathers are supposed to lead their sons to see God, to Jesus, to worship the Lord in the house of the Lord. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. That's what fathers are supposed to do. You're going to be a father one day. You're going to lead your little children to the house of the Lord and worship Him. <laughs> Never do that. Yeah. Okay. I just want... I just want to... Touch your sweet face. In Bethlehem, the star was shining directly over the tiny stable. The shepherd boy quietly opened the door to the stable and walked in. There he found Mary and Joseph with the baby. Just as the angels had said, the baby was wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. The shepherd boy knelt down before the baby to pray. As the boy prayed, other shepherds gathered behind him. They had all followed the bright star. They had all come from far away to meet little Jesus. They had all come to witness this beautiful miracle. He's in heaven. The night Jesus was born. The night Jesus was born. Oh, how the heavens rang. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God's own angels sang. The night Jesus was born, a star shone in the sky. It led the lowly shepherds to Mary's sweet lullaby. The night Jesus was born. <laughs> All right, time to go to bed. Mom, yeah. did Mary die? She's in heaven. Oh, she died. Yeah, and she's in heaven. She's alive <laughs> in heaven with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs>